When you're within Geolayers, you do have the ability to make some basic customized map style using the light map style, which you can see here. But there's a website that basically massively expands these abilities and allows you to produce some really detailed map styles. So that's what I want to show you how to do today. So is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to go to this website called Mapbox. Now I already have an account, you'll have to create one, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Uh, so once we're in, we go over to Map Studio, and then I'm going to go to New Style. Now I'm going to se uh, select Classic Template, and I'm going to go with the Outdoors style. So do Customize Outdoors. Now something we're going to have to do quickly to make this work in GeoLayers is we're going to have to change the projection from Globe to the Mercator projection. There we go. Now, if you zoom out, you'll see that you've basically got all these labels everywhere. Now, of course, you can opt to leave them in if you like. I quite like quite a clean map. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna delete out most of these. And then I'm gonna shy away at that one. And then I'm gonna come down into this one and I'm also gonna shy away most of them apart from land, land cover and hill shade. So, There we go. Now, of course, you can stylize your map however you want. Now, I made a map for a previous project where I did some shorts in Egypt, and I made this kind of nice sort of desert style map. So it's all I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be reusing the color values that I use to create this. Of course, if you find something else you like, you can always stylize it based upon some different color values. So let's just hop back over. Now, uh, if you basically click at any point on the map, this pops up. And it's what this is, is this basically tells you the layers that are at that point. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change the color value of our land, which is just sort of the base color of the map. So the HSL values that I'm gonna enter are as follows, 43, 52%, 80%, so that gives us this nice kind of deserty beige color. We're now gonna come over to this tab here called Land Cover, and you see here it basically gives a color value associated with various different terrain types. Now, I recommend just diving in for yourself and having a play around with all these settings and finding some colors that you like. I'm just gonna put up on the screen now the colors that I had for my previous map style, so I'm gonna go through and put all those into the field here. Uh, and then is what we're gonna do once we've done that is we're gonna come over to the opacity and I'm gonna take this down to about 0 0.4, I think for both zoom values. That seems to be what works best for me. Now, the next thing that we're gonna have to do is if we click here, you see you've got water. So we need to go in and we need to change the color of the water to whatever suits our fancy. So I'm gonna do about 43% followed by 78%, gives this kind of like a, a lighter colored water, which I think suits this map style well. And then if you click here in the ocean, you see you've got this layer called water depth. Now as what water depth is, is, this is basically bathymetry data. So it assigns a different color value depending on the depth of the water, which is how you get this kind of nice variation across the oceans. So we're gonna to come to the layer here, water depth, uh, we're just gonna delete that initial one because we don't want it changing on zoom levels. And you see you have a color assigned with different water depths. Um, so again, I'm gonna pop up on the screen the colors that I use, um, and I'm just gonna go through and populate them now. Right, so you can see here that we've now got kind of a nice basic style for the map. But there's a couple of extra layers you can sort of add on just to further tweak the design of this. So I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of those now. So we go to this plus icon, uh, we go custom layer. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is simply just border data. So we add country borders. You wanna be changing that from a fill to a line. There we go, X out of there. Now we've got this country's boundaries. So I think it can look nice to put like a really, really thin light gray border on. So we'll do a sort of a light gray, take the opacity down to about uh, half, I reckon, zero point or let's say, um, width, let's lower that as well. Ah, there we go, let's change the color. There, that gives these really nice kind of faint border outlines. 
The next thing I want to show you how to add is some nice terrain data. So again, we go custom layer, come over here and let's select, uh, select uh, terrain. Just drop that in, X out. Right, here we go. Let's load again, take a moment. There we go. So we've got this nice terrain data. Now I find again with the terrain data, um, one thing you can do is um, you can change the intensity of it just to your preference. That's very strong. I reckon about there. That gives sort of a nice kind of 3D nature to the map. And then lastly, I don't actually have this on my map style, but it might be something you want to consider, is you can always put on some satellite data uh, and then lower the opacity of this way, way down um, so that it, uh, there we go, it's a bit fainter, and then sort of stack it underneath some of these uh, in the pile so that it uh, doesn't sit on top of everything. There we go, that can sort of give a nice image. Uh, I'm just gonna turn that off for now. So we've now created our new map style in Mapbox. So how are we gonna go about getting this into GeoLayers? Well, it's what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna to come to the top right corner and we're gonna hit publish, okey doke. And then we're gonna go share. We're gonna go third party. On this drop down, we're gonna select Carto and we're gonna grab this integration URL. And then we're gonna come over into GeoLayers and After Effects. We're gonna do create new map comp, next. And then we've got all our current map styles here. We're gonna do new style. And then within this URI field, we're gonna paste in that value. Hit apply, create. And then finalize. And there we go. If you've got any questions, just pop them down in the comments. And if you're interested in hiring me for any map animations, then there's a Google form in the description. Thanks.